Hello, Class here, Final Fantasy VIII. In the last part, we landed this spaceship, and it has low fuel, but apparently we're gonna fly it around more anyway. <laughs> I mean, there's, a, there's at least one reason why I explored the whole continent I landed on, looking for more places to go. But, uh, the ship's been started up. So, uh, let's head up. Whoa, that's loud. Ooh, we're flying. Selfie's just amazing. You sure you can fly this? It just kind of took off. I don't know, it's pretty easy. I think I'll be fine. There's no guarantee it won't crash. No one can predict the future, right? Selfie, head for Estar. She's probably at the Sorceress Memorial. We're gonna go rescue Renoa. Okay. Oh, okay, uh... Directional button to go up and down and steer. And it's still square for forward. Alright. Uh, can we ascend? Down is go up. I guess they're trying to pretend it's a flight joystick. But, like, it's a directional pad. Don't kid yourself. I guess you could have probably played with the analog stick. Uh, wait, the Sorceress Memorial. Let's, like, over this way. We checked the map last time. Oh, this is the thing I thought was a rocket. And so I thought it was the Lunar Gate. Uh, let's see. That's... that's the cockpit. It was the confirm button to just get off. Alright, we did it. We managed to fly the Ragnarok. Also, we now have a <laughs> form of transportation that doesn't rely on finding beaches. So that's cool. Alright, there's just no guard at the entrance anymore, sure. Oh, wait, maybe they were here the whole time. We found stop! Zell either doesn't have the draw command, or has max copies of stop. I think he doesn't have the draw command. Um, I probably need to do a junction exchange. Yeah, Renoa has the stuff. Uh, also, I think I need to go to the world map and use a tent. We'll be back. <laughs> I guess I was talking to the Sorceress Memorial there, when I said we'll be back. I'm probably not gonna use those tents by the end of the game. Resave... for reasons? Well, because saving only takes like three seconds. I would save way more if I was playing Mega Man Battle Network. At least if it was like three. I think Mega Man Battle Network 5 DS takes a few more moments to save. You want to see your comrade off. I'll make an exception, go ahead. Uh, yeah, that approximates what we're doing here. Why did you make me walk like five steps? What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. To do what I should have done earlier. I'll never know unless I do it. What are you talking about? I know what I want and what I have to do. There's still a chance. I'm not going to look back. I'm taking Renoa with me. What? You must be joking. It's too late. Uh, go, Squall. Yeah. <laughs> and I had control. Renoa, hold on. I'll get you out in a sec. What am I supposed to do? Come on. Oh boy. <sighs> I'm not sure here's the best time for this moment, or best place. Best time and place. Squall, don't. I'm a sorceress. I don't care. 
But no, a squall. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I, I'm holding down. I don't have movement yet. <laughs> okay. There are dudes. Dots. Alright. Very insightful. Is he gonna fight us? That man. Oh. Dots. Dots. I've seen him before. I didn't really get a good look at him. What's wrong with now? I'm just a little embarrassed. Why? I was so set on say staying in Estar. But when or er, but then when you guys rescued me, it made me so happy and no need to be embarrassed. Yeah, happy's good. Thanks everybody. I have a lot on my mind. As an expert squall observer, he's thinking, what do we do now? Blah blah blah. If you think and worry too much, everything tends to turn bad. Squall, why don't we just picture a brighter future? Whatever. But seriously, what do we do from here? Not really sure, but don't we have to do something about that lunatic Pandora in Estar? After all, the Galbadians are controlling it, which means Cypher is behind all this too, right? Cypher is Ultimecia's puppet. Yeah, and that Ultimecia, we can't let that sorceress from the future mess up our world. Yeah, we're seeds, we're here to destroy sorceresses, right? Zell? <laughs> Sorry. So, Squall, where are we going? Um... Can we go to the orphanage you guys were talking about in Trabia? That place is in shambles. There's nothing to see there. I want to stay away from places where there are lots of people. I'm a sorceress. If Ultimecia possesses me again... Let's go. Head to Adea's house. Alright. I am capable of following directions... ...that just name locations I've been to before. I don't like this, like, whole explore continent business they <laughs> threw on us earlier. When they didn't even know the names of continents. That was a while ago, though. Why am I bringing it up? Uh, what's the backup button? Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm ejected on that side of the airship. It's a dog! I acknowledge to the dog. Okay, how's Renella? No matter how cheerful she may appear to be on the outside, I'm sure that she's full of anxiety. Yeah? Renella has received Adea's powers. Adea was unaware when it happened, but she feels very bad about it. I mean, but of course it is Renella who will bear the burden, but still. Do I, like, need Renoa in my party for the proper scene to trigger? I'm gonna leave the area and come all the way back in with her in my party. Just in case swapping party members in here breaks the scene. Which, I wouldn't expect it to. The game has been pretty good about cutscenes actually working. I guess I use another tent. I still think I have enough for the rest of the game just wasting them like this. Uh, we won't resave though. So you're an Ella. Forgive me, I've changed your life drastically. I don't think it could have been helped. I don't blame you for what happened. So instead, please advise me. I'll be looking up to you as a wiser, experienced sorceress. <laughs> Thank you, Renella. Uh, once you get used to the sorceress's power, they will not bother you as much. Therefore, please give Renella your understanding until her time comes. Oh. You repeat your text. Yeah. Yeah, you say the same thing still. Okay. Are we done here?
Where do I go next? <laughs> I have not yet received a location. Maybe they'll talk on the way out? No. Uh... I must have missed something, right? Where'd the dog go? Ah! Of course, find the hidden screen to advance the game. This place is beautiful. Yeah, the flower field. I forgot all about this place. Renoa forces herself into your world, no matter how many walls you put around yourself, Squall. I know I couldn't compete with her. The only issue is whether you would make a place for her. And you did, pretty quickly. Who knows? You've changed, Squall. It's like Renoa is the only one on your mind. Good thing this wasn't before the exam. I'll leave you two alone now. Okay. And even the dog leaves. Oh, I have control. What'll become of me? Don't worry about it. There have been many good sorceresses. Adea was one of them. You can be like her. But Adea is still... I can't guarantee anything either. If Ultimisia possesses me again... You saw me. She controlled me in outer space and make me, made me break Adele's seal. What might happen next time? What will I end up doing? Will I end up fighting everyone? Scary thought, isn't it? Renoa. Even if you end up as the world's enemy... I'll... I'll be your knight. Okay, so you'll become Cypher for her. If I fall under Ultimisia's control again, Seed will come kill me, right? And the leader of Seed is you, Squall. Squall's sword will pierce my heart. I guess it's okay if it's you, Squall. Nobody else. Squall, if that ever happens... That's enough. I'll never do anything like that. The sorceress I'm after is not used... Uh, Renoa. <laughs> I almost said Squall. My enemy is the sorceress from the future, Ultimisia. Ultimisia lives in the future and possesses me. She uses my body as her extension in this world. How will you save me? I'll come up with something. There's got to be a way. Don't worry. Trust me. I trust you. Okay. Well, until you find a way, maybe I should stay in Estar and at that memorial? Wouldn't that be better? No, that'd be pointless. I'll just end up going after you again. Or no, just stay close to me. Oh. Those words. What? That's why I started everything. What are you talking about? You don't remember? Something I said? Oh, just forget it. I have no idea to what she's referring. No, it's because of the GF. That's why I forgot. That's just an excuse. Feeling better? Yeah. Can I tell you a story? No. I had it. Oh, you're telling it anyway. You had a dream. It was a scary dream. We made a promise. A promise to see the shooting stars together. I get dressed up and put on your ring. But the thing is, I can't remember where I'm supposed to meet you. I start to panic. I really want to see you, Skull, but I don't know where to go. I start running through the mountains, the desert, the plains, through a bunch of other places. But I can't realize I can't run any longer. I just want to see you so badly. Okay. So I scream, Squall, where are you? And then I woke up. I was crying. I'm sorry, you don't have to say anything. I just felt like I had to tell you. It was just a dream. It doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. Guess you're right. How about this? I'll be here. Why? The reason you couldn't find me was because we haven't promised yet. Promised? I'll be waiting for you. If you come here, you'll find me. Promise. I'll be here too. It's a promise. Thanks, Squall. Next time we'll meet for sure. Whoa! Sorry to interrupt, but it's an emergency. We got radio contact from Estar's presidential palace. They have a plan to defeat Ultimisia. They want to hire Seed to execute it. Might be a trap to get Renoa back in Estar. Oh, and uh, the guy we spoke to, his name's Kuros. Could he be that Kuros? Kuros is in Estar's presidential palace? He wants to hire us? Alright, let's go. Wait, which one was Kuros? Right, Ward's the one that becomes mute. Okay. I was wondering how on earth he hired us. Also, Zell made his way into my party somehow. I can't switch members here. That was another reason to walk out. Squall, you're always looking for a loan with tears in your eyes. I guess we're done here. Oh. Squall. I just talked to you over there. What more do you have to say? There's something I must tell you. It's about me. Yes, I believe it was 13 years ago. This is when my story begins. 
First became a sorceress when I was a child, and once again, 13 years ago. That day, right here, I encountered a sorceress on the verge of death. I received her powers of my own will. That sorceress was an entity of fear for my children. I could not let her get to them, but this turned out to be the beginning of my painful story. At this very minute, my bitter story has ended. I now understand there's an end, no matter how painful it may be. Therefore, Squall... You must fight to the end, even though it may bring tragedy to others. Alright. Fix my party to have the people that already have hit points in it. Alright, I guess we're headed back to Esthar. I think this will actually trigger endgame, but if it turns out we're not powerful enough, I have like a billion backup saves. <laughs> actually, I might save on yet another slot after heading here. Well, I will. I'm not. There's no probable about it, or might. Yeah, because, um. I periodically check the table of contents of this one walkthrough to uh, know how close I am to finishing the game, because I want it to be over. <laughs> spoilers. I don't know how that's a spoiler, but spoilers. Um, and yeah, we're fast approaching disc four. So I'm actually concerned that accepting being hired is gonna trigger the final mission and like lock me into it. Walking around loops is hard. Let's see. Shouldn't one of those chair things be here? That could take us straight to the presidential palace? Also, I noticed there's still, like, Galbadian soldiers here. I There might be encounters here, but I have encountered none on. Oh, there are monsters. Noted. Probably not much reason to resave, but it doesn't cost much time. Uh, weird laughter? Poor man, he's been traumatized. Okay. How far around this town is the presidential palace? I think there'll be another save point in front of it. Maybe I should have gone through the middle instead of around the ring. But I think I'm now far enough around that it makes sense to continue around the outside. I wonder if the shops are open. I do have money again. More high potions wouldn't be hated. I'm not gonna worry about it though. Actually, how many high potions do I have? 43. Yeah, um, I'll hope that's enough. I guess I have plenty of curas now, too. Alright. Nothing's getting by, guaranteed. Uh, what about me? Can I get by? Enter the palace? Yes. So I guess they're watching out for monsters and not for people. All right, there was that whole like torrent of monsters down from the moon. Why is this left? I expected it to be down. Okay, you have permission, please, this way. She kind of pointed to the left, but I think this would be the way. Maybe not. The president's waiting. Waiting where? Did I need to inspect this? No? No? Is it this door to the right? No? It's not really a door. This to the left looks like it has like barriers in front of it. Hmm. 
Maybe it really was to the left. I just thought it would be in the big important looking door. I guess this hallway also looks pretty important, but I couldn't see it from the previous screen. Ward. Kiros. That's probably... This music, though. <laughs> What's up with this country? Or dots. Oh, sure. Hey there. Been wanting to meet you guys. You guys are the ones who were inside my head, right? Alone told me. It's like they were some kind of waves running through my head. They gave us so much power during battle. We thought they were some kind of fairies flying over us. So I'm Laguna. President Laguna Loire of Esthar. Pleased to meet ya. If we weren't in a state of emergency, I'd talk to you some more, but well, whatever. Let's talk. What do you want to know? You'll never get going if President Laguna keeps talking. So why don't you guys throw out some questions and he'll try to answer them. Okay, so it was Ward that met us at the uh, Sorceress Memorial, because he was in that green suit. Man, you look way too serious. Whatever. Explain the mission to defeat Ultimecia. Ah, straight to the heart of the matter. Just like a workaholic seed. Is it my turn? No, oh, it's Dr. Odin. Yeah, make it short and easy to understand. <laughs> I'll talk however I want. <laughs> uh, Sorceress Sadea told me everything. Sorceress Ultimecia comes from the future to possess the sorceress of present day, meaning she leaves her body in the future and sends only her consciousness here. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah? It's like when alone sent our consciousnesses back to the past. You're a smart one. My first guess was that someone in the future with an ability like alone was sending the sorceress back here to our time. But no, that is not the answer. How does the sorceress come back to this time? You want to hear how? Yeah, I do. Eey. I kept this a secret to surprise you. It is because of me, Odin. I researched Alone's power long ago. I made a pattern from the electric current running through Alone's brain. Once the pattern was determined, it was easy to mechanize. It may only be a toy right now, but in the time of Ultimecia, it is an impressive working machine. Which means there is a machine which imitates Alone's power. It is I who made the first model of that machine. I named the machine Junction Machine Alone. It is a wonderful thing to know that my invention is used in the future. Junction Machine Alone. Could you maybe, like, stop making it? <laughs> That's about it. So Sorceress Ultimecia came to know about her loan from that machine, and L became Ultimecia's target. You can't blame Odin, it's useless. You want to go outside? You want fisticuffs? Okay, we continue the story. Let's see. There is only one way to defeat Ultimecia. You must kill her in the future. There is nothing we can do unless we go to the future. There is no way to jump to the future under normal circumstances. But there is still a way. It is because Sorceress Ultimecia plans to compress time. Compressing time with magic. What good will it do for the Sorceress to compress time? There may be many reasons, but it doesn't matter. Let's just figure out what Ultimecia is up to. In order to, for Ultimecia to exist in this time, she must take over the body of a sorceress from the present. But the machine must have a limit. Ultimecia probably needs to go back further in time to achieve time compression. Only alone can take her back further into the past. That is why she is desperately seeking her. We must take advantage of Alone's power. There are two sorceresses in our time, Sorceress Renoa and Sorceress Adele. Of the two, Adele has not awakened yet. Once regeneration is completed, neither Laguna nor I will be safe. Sorceress Adele is probably in the process of awakening inside Lunatic Pandora. Ultimecia will want to possess Adele if Adele wakes up. That will be a horrible event. Adele is a horrible sorceress. If Adele's consciousness wins over Ultimecia, Adele will first destroy this era. So we must use Sorceress Cernella to inherit Ultimecia's powers. That's all for this mission briefing. First go to Lunatic Pandora. Alone's probably being held captive inside, so rescue her first. Then kill Sorceress Adele before the awakening process is completed. Now we're left with Renoa as the only sorceress of this area. I'm not going to pronounce the Z's anymore. Okay, then wait for Ultimecia to present Renoa. When Ultimecia arrives, it's Alone's turn. Alone will send Renoa back to the past of Ultimecia. 
Alone will have to send Renoa and Ultimecia inside another sorceress she knows in the past. Idea or Adele, that's up to Alone. Once Ultimecia is in the past, she'll use the time compression magic. We'll see some influence here. I don't know what kind of influence, but once Alone feels it, she'll cut Renoa and Ultimecia off from the past. Renoa will come back to this world, Ultimecia also goes back to her own world. What would be left is the time compressed world. Past, present, and future will all get mixed together. You'll keep moving through the time compression toward the future. Once you're out of the time compression, that will be Ultimecia's world. It's all up to you after that. And I have control! Okay, so you were briefed about the mission? I don't really understand it either. Will it do it? Yeah, I will. Alright, I guess we skipped to the other, like, three dialogue options, but whatever. Let's go. We'll get aboard Ragnarok. Let's do the final briefing in there. I always wanted to ride that thing, plus the name sounds so cool. Oh boy. We were warped here right away. Alright. Everyone. From here we go straight to our final target, Ultimacy. Let's go over the plan- again? First then we're kick Pandora and rescue alone. Next you fight Sorceress Adele, it'll be a surprise attack, she'll still show no mercy. Now comes the tricky part. Adele will need to pass on her powers before being defeated. Reno, will you be willing to accept them? Yes. Good. Next we wait for Sorceress Ultimacy to possess Renoa. This will be hard on you, Reno, but will you do it? Yes. Okay. That's the spirit. Then Alone sends Renoa and Ultimacia to the past. Alone brings back Renoa. Then head to the future through compressed time. Ultimacia lives far in the future where none of us can technically exist. There's only one way to make yourself exist in a world like that. As friends, don't forget one another. As friends, believe in one another. Believe in your friend's existence, and they'll also believe in yours. Okay. To be friends and to like one another and to love one another, you can't do these things alone and you need somebody. Alright guys? What place reminds you of your friends? Imagine being in that place with all your friends. Once time compression begins, think of that place and try to get there. That's all. It's gonna be the flower field, isn't it? Okay, that place will welcome you. You'll be able to get there no matter what period you're in. You need love and friendship for this mission and the courage to believe it. It's all about love, friendship, and courage. I'm counting on you guys. Okay. Yep. Love and friendship and all that sounds corny, but everyone seems to be up for it. You think it'll succeed? We'll try. Okay, we're not forced into anything yet. Uh, I believe it is now time, though, to save and quit. Did I? I didn't do any combat this episode. Probably partially because I had encountered none. Got through a lot of cutscene. But anyway, that's still it for this part. See ya!